Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. Another killing involving with a race soldier. This time, a young girl, a young innocent girl by the name of Mikea Bryan, was the latest victim of a shooting by race soldiers. The race soldier responsible is this individual by the name of Nicholas Rairden, a who police officer who was also a former military marksman. She was killed at Columbus, Ohio, I believe. Um, and this happened around the same time Derek Chauvin was found guilty of second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter. We are just waiting for the sentencing of Derek Chauvin. Notice that th there has been a few more extra killings from race soldiers killing innocent black people. Yeah, innocent black people. I believe it's a retaliation for the verdict on uh, the Derek Chauvin trial, because, you know, Derek Chauvin was accused and now convicted of murder of George Floyd. Now, notice that the police actually wanted to show the footage of her holding a knife trying to fight someone. And then they're, what they're probably going to do is they're going to try to use it to dirty her up to say that she was uh, uh, being aggressive and trying to attack someone. But we don't know that because there's still an investigation going on. She could be defending herself because I heard that she called the police and had to try to also at the same time try to defend herself. That's what I heard. And I've noticed that this happened in Columbus, Ohio. Ohio is a stand your ground state. Stand your ground, for those of you who don't know, is when no matter how you do it, if you are fighting for your life and to the point where you may have to kill whoever is threatening you, you have the right to stand your ground and use whatever is necessary, even if it means something that will lead to a fatal incident, just out of the sake of protecting yourself. We don't know if she was protecting herself. This girl was shot by the race soldier, Nicholas Rarden, and she is, was, was the age of 15 when she have when she has died but instead of bringing her in alive to investigate what was going on they just shot and killed her yet Kyle Rittenhouse killed two people in Wisconsin 17 years old two years older than Micaiah Bryant brought in alive and is now on the loose. Dan Dylan Roof was 21 when he committed this. He's now 27 years old in prison, but at the age of 21, he shot and killed nine people in a church in South Carolina. He too was taken in alive. Twenty-one years old. That that means he's an adult. Was adult. He, he's now twenty-seven. But before they sent him to the prison, to the jailhouse, they took him to Burger King. They brought him alive though, and took him to Burger King before. Robert Aaron Long also. 21 years old he shot up a massage parlor killing five to eight people few of them were asian females and then they want to blame that he had a sex addiction 
and that he had a bad day. I mean, the Paula was also accused of of doing more than just massages, and that's why they said that's why he targeted the place. And it was just it wasn't just and it wasn't just one parlor. He attacked three different parlors. He committed an, a hate crime against five Asian women, though five are now dead. The only one who has died from a recent shooting that's not black is this man, Baron Brandon Scott Hull, shot up a fat FedEx. He is the only one out of those people I just talked about that died. But how he died, Brandon Scott Hall, was suicide. He didn't want to be taken in, so he killed himself. He was ready to die. I think he it was called Suicide Cop. But the cops didn't shoot him. He shot himself. So would the cops try to shoot him or would they just take him in because they didn't want to kill him? Remember, he killed himself. The cops didn't kill him. But the question is, would the cops want to kill him because he was too dangerous? But a young girl, 15 years old, Micaiah Bryan, killed no one, by the way. He just, she had the knife. We don't know if she was defending herself with it or was the aggressor. We don't know. We don't know because, and remember, they said she called the police, so maybe she was defending herself. No one died. Well, actually, someone did die. It was her, Makai Bryant. She was the only one that died. She's the only one that died in that incident. She didn't kill no no other people. No other people died. No cops died. Because, oh, by the way, um, one of those shootings, the Brandon, I think it was the Brandon Scott Hall, and then another one, there's this uh, white, um, this white Arab guy, um, uh, Ahmad something, uh, those two incidents, a cop died. Um, I forgot to mention that, but no one died in the Micaiah Bryant incident except for Micaiah Bryant the victim of the race soldier. She was 15 years old. You're telling me that 20-year-old gunman who sh actually killed people who are adults can be taken in alive and one of them even goes to Burger King but a 15-year-old black girl 15 year old black girl, this little girl, this girl right here, she gets shot dead, didn't kill anyone. We don't know if, whether she was the aggressive or the defense or the, or the defense or was defending herself. That's why you should have took her in and interrogated her, not just try to kill her there. She was shot and killed 15 years old compared to 20 year old white men, palm colored men who shot people and they're still alive. They got taken in. This shows you how wicked and cruel this justice system is, ladies and gentlemen. That a 15 year old girl who's black can be killed by the police. Remember, she's still a minor, but 20 year old racists, non-black racists, and particularly palm colored, can be taken in alive or not get arrested at all. That's our justice system, our corrupt, racist justice system for you, ladies and gentlemen. My condolences goes to the family of Makai Bryan. It's a shame. And this guy should not be on the force. 
he should be charged. But that's all I have to say about this incident. I want to know what y'all think in the in comment section about this incident. Write down in the comment section what you think. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that notification. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Black Junction, Patreon, and um, yeah, Black Junction, and of course YouTube, uh, where I'll be post I post videos. You can uh, follow me on Patreon now. Patreon is now the latest thing I'm now uploading videos on. Um, I'm still uploading videos on YouTube, Black Junction. I um, do tweets and posts on on Twitter. I have other accounts like Black Share TV and other sites that I also do stuff. You can check me out there. Uh, Black Enough, Black Shares, whichever. I'll leave the links to all these different accounts for you to follow me on. Uh, like I said before, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share this video, um, share it, share this video wherever you're watching this video. And um, if you're not getting notifications, um, yeah, make sure you uh, resubscribe and um, re-hit that notification if you've been unsubscribed. Unfortunately, I had to shut down the community number um this is temporarily but something happened um so uh but still she'll share this video make sure you subscribe if you're and check every once in a while to see if um if i do a new video uh, but that's all i have to say for now this is j dog thank you for watching i hope to catch you all in another video peace everyone